All right, guys, for all of you that have been curious about how long this uh, battery-powered computer is going to last, this is essentially what I'm going to be using it for, mostly in a class in college. So uh, the idea was to have minimal amount of cords running from the monitor to the computer so that I could just come into class, plug in the monitor. I really, in hindsight, should have just got a motherboard with Thunderbolt on it just so that I could uh, have one cord instead of two. But, um, you know, that's uh, too bad. They were a lot more money, and I guess I just decided against it or I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, so now I'm stuck with two cords, but still, only two cords isn't too bad. Then I just have a uh, Bluetooth mouse and keyboard hooked up to this uh, external monitor that's like a portable one. And the power draw on it seems to be very minimal too. It's uh, not very many watts as far as I can tell, but anyway, so that's that. This backpack I bought specifically for this reason. So um, it's got this mesh pocket, so if I'm just doing like normal web browsing stuff, I can actually just leave this shut and it doesn't get, get too hot. The GPU is on the back side, so if I did want to play a game or something, it's probably best to open this up like this so that there's airflow. This Wi-Fi card is not going to be here like this permanently. That's just temporary until I get like a little extender thing and then I'm going to just put it into one of the pockets of the backpack. But uh, there's my charging port for everything. This is not the final exact thing that I'm going to have and use permanently, but this is just the basic setup. Sadly, I wasn't able to get the batteries to fit perfectly, so I might either 3D print this uh, gap like fill it in with a 3D printed piece that's got airflow slots in it or something. Or I might just say screw it and uh, redo the battery a little bit so that I can actually have it all perfectly contained in this specific case. There's an exhaust fan on the top, an uh, oversized fan for the GPU since I did deshroud the GPU to get it to fit in there. And then I also put two Noctua fans on my little uh, voltage converter thing in there so that that should keep a, keep that a lot cooler and uh, there are some little you can't tell but there's some plastic little uh, bumps that I installed inside the heat sink there so that it's not going to make contact with the metal chassis and then there's um, some electrical tape and stuff on the back so that's not going to short out on anything or anything like that and uh, this the BMS that I used for this is Bluetooth, so I can tell what what battery percentage everything is at. And uh, it's fully charged right now. I just uh, turned it on, and I'm going to set up a benchmark of some kind and just let it run and see how long it takes for it to die or shut off, because I'm not 100% sure about how reliable this is going to be once I get down to the lower voltages. But um, I'm going to try that, and I will start a timer once I actually start running the benchmark, I'm not going to bother doing a timer right now. But uh, anyway, I'll let you guys know how long it lasts. I'm just as curious as all of you are. So um, I'll get that benchmark fired up and uh, we will try it. Okay, I was going to run a game benchmark, but I figured it's probably best to just run the Haven benchmark. It's free. I didn't really want to pay for 3D Mark. But um, this is just running right now. It's running at 102 frames. And uh, I'm just going to let it run until the battery dies or until the computer shuts off, whatever happens. So should be interesting enough. And uh, we'll see how hot the computer gets too. But that's about it. I'll uh, come back in a little while once the battery's dead and let you know what happened. I've got sound running on the computer monitor and also full brightness. So basically everything is set for max power draw. Also, I figured I would let you know while running the test, my power draw is at roughly 130 watts total between powering the monitor, powering the all my adapters I have, and uh, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five fans in that computer case. So that's quite a bit. Oh, and just so you know, I am definitely not plugged in anywhere to anything. So, fully battery powered. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to just 
keep running the benchmark until it's done. Okay, it has been one hour so far. Still holding strong at above 100 FPS. And I um, am on high settings as well, by the way. And I did actually run an actual benchmark <clears throat> at the very beginning. Now it's just continuing to loop more and more. And uh, the computer is not even really warm, honestly. The CPU side feels nice and cold. The exhaust is pushing out a little bit of heat, but it's really actually very cool. Pretty impressed so far. And the battery, after one hour, is uh, still at 71%. And I also didn't include my setup time because I had to download this benchmark, get it started, log into the computer, all of that stuff. And then I started the timer after I ran uh, the first little bit of the benchmark. So really I'm probably closer to about an hour 15, hour 20 minutes or so. But um, anyway, yeah, still at 70%. I'm just going to let it keep on going until it shuts off. Okay guys, three hours in. Still going. Still is really nice and cool, honestly. Runs cooler than my main gaming computer. And um, we are at 15% battery, so it's not going to quite last me as long as I thought. But still, after three hours, still at 15%, that's pretty dang good. So uh, that's not bad for 130 watt power draw for three hours. And not to mention, it all fits inside this tiny little case that I got. So, that's where we're at. I will uh, come back once it's fully dead and shuts off on its own. Because I kind of do want to test that to make sure it's going to do that correctly. That it will kill power, because I don't want anything happening to those battery packs. So, we're going to find out what it does. For those of you who are wondering, after fully discharging the computer, how long would it take to charge back to 100%? And uh, so far, I would estimate it's going to take about five hours to charge from nothing to full. Uh, the computer did finally shut off when it reached 6% battery, and it was a total time of about three hours and 20 minutes when it actually powered down. But um, the one thing that I don't like so much about this setup is how hot this power brick gets. Like this is actually like burning my hands pretty much. So I might come up with a way to um, put a fan on that or something, but maybe they just run hot. I don't really know. But um, yeah, it did pretty good. I was very impressed with the kinds of numbers I was getting and most of the time when I'm playing a game, I'm not going to be at 130 watts power draw because I don't really plan on playing like big AAA games on this thing. If I'm honest, I'm going to be playing a lot of like emulator games, which aren't going to use much power. And um, every once in a while I'll fire up maybe like the newer Ratchet and Clank or something like that. But for the most part, if I want to play like a really big AAA game or something, then I'll just play it on my main computer. This is mostly for school, so it's going to work awesome for that. I would assume the battery life for that is going to be way, way, way longer. Because while I'm doing schoolwork, the highest power drive seen is like 50 watts. So it's going to definitely last more than enough for an entire day of school for me. But that is uh, the, the summary of what I've got going on. It's still not finished, per se, but it's... Um, getting closer so pretty excited about that and I definitely don't have some more things planned over here uh, or maybe I do there will be some more fiddling around with with batteries in case you're wondering so anyway that's it if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns let me know in the comments below and uh, go check out my reddit post as well and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.